out and drag one in because they just don't show up when you go through the object window maybe it's a bug I'm not too sure but this is a handy alternative now what you want to do is find a uh, default WI comment trig right click and then you can just go and view it and it will come up automatically eventually in the render window there we have it it's that green box you just want to go ahead and copy go back to your cell view and the dungeon you're working with now I'm just going to go ahead and place this right here as you can see we have our I just want to make sure it's covered yep so as soon as you walk through that green box your companion will say something like it's all uh, there's trouble ahead or there's a fight coming or what have you now that is done we will be going on to traps so you want to type in the cell view warehouse traps well, that didn't work there we go find the traps which is usually this bottom one double left click yes to all <coughs> and this room is much larger than the ambush one now what we're going to do is just put in if I can find them obviously you've got your spears there and now what I'm going to do is that this trap the as you can see it's going to be for the big corridor we can't as much as I'd love to add that to our tutorial that would be a bit pointless what I'm looking for is the mace I usually go over it I usually always skim past the things I want and I believe it's in one of these ah here we go yeah exactly here we can see a mace so you left click on the mace and control left click to highlight its trigger then you want to duplicate um, copy it sorry so right click copy go back to your cell view go back to your dungeon I'm just going to place it here paste as you can see it's awkward positioning so I'm just going to go and rotate it and drag it across and you want to sort of line it up with the middle Now if you're having a problem with angling it and you have these ticked you just want to make sure the snap to grid is turned on or off, uh, snap to angle sorry. As you can see snap to angle on is like that sort of 45 degree angle ish so I'm just going to uncheck it so you can move it around as you wish but it doesn't seem to be centering. go and raise it a little bit Ooh. you just want to sort of place it in the middle ish area and center it now we have our mace placed make that round we can go and find the 
tripwire for it, which seems to have disappeared. So if you can't find your trap piece you want, or any piece really, because it's underground or whatever, you can just go into the cell view object window bit here, and just highlight the one you want, and you can just press page up and pay, uh, page up to raise it and page down to lower it. So there we go. So this is the trip wire which will activate the trap. I'm just going to lower it a little bit so it's not as visible, just above the water. So the player will probably won't even notice they've tripped over it. You just want to go ahead and place it as you wish. Now I'm not going to place the trap here because if too much is going on it can sometimes activate uh, the ambush there which is what you really don't want. So we've added ambushes and we've added a trap and we've also added a little comment section for the companion. So our dungeon is almost complete. We just need to do one or two three things extra which won't really take that long but for now I'm just going to go ahead and save this and we're going to go and see what it looks like in game so I'll see you in a few ticks welcome back to my tutorial um, now we're just going to go and see if everything we've done with traps and ambushes has worked I've gone ahead and summoned the companion from our first tutorial Dagonus, and we're just going to go through the motions to see if everything's worked. I've also acted God, activated God mode just for uh, tutorial purposes only. Now we're just going to edge forward. As you can see, there's a drow there laying down. Got the feeling there's trouble ahead. And there's that default uh, comment trigger just activated there. So we're going to go through this doorway. Take the weapon out. And as you can see, they're activated. I'm go ahead and kill these. Lovely. Now, a note, if you have Skyrim Monster Mod or the Asus Mod, um, sometimes it's a chance that more will spawn. I tried this earlier, and I, went and I forgot I had it activated, went to the Draugr Overlord, and there was five of them. <laughs> exactly. So, what we do, here's a tripwire. And there's the mace. Fantastic, so that works. Let's go ahead and run through. And he's come out of the box. Ready to die. What are as he says. It well up. And there we have it. Our traps and ambushes are fully working, fully integrated, and everything works fine. Fantastic. So for the next tutorial, I'll be quickly going over cobwebs, because uh, I forgot to mention that in the original ambience tutorial. And then we're pretty much done with our dungeon almost, except for optimization and connecting it to the world, which I will cover in their own tutorials. So if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe and I will add this to um, this dungeon I've made to the Skyrim Nexus database and put a link in the description. So, so again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.